Welcome to First Look, my name is Tom, and today we are taking our first look at the Early Access version of Cast Out Colony. This is a horde survival roguelike game with base building elements as well. It releases on April 8th. Let's get into it. I did get through the tutorial already. I don't really like doing tutorials too much on my channel to save you guys from that stuff. So um, we have some different bugs available to us. The game's quite a bit different, I think, than wh what I played in the demo for it. Um, we have five different bugs. We have to unlock them, of course. We're going to start with Tato. We start with the Stick Foo. Uh, we have a special move called the Banishing Blow. It's a twirly move. And our character perk is we start with more health, and we can also gain more health as we level up. Let's get into it. So here's our base. I haven't really done anything with it because I'm brand new to the game. This is where you can look at your different things you can build in the backyard. Right, we have different shrubs, walls, paths, all kinds of stuff, different buildings. That building, the big building over here, is the library. It's basically a tutorial building. We'll tell you everything you need to know. We can also do this. You need to do this. You need to actually clear the back backyard a bit. So I kind of like this. I'm a fan of base building games as well. So I'm a big fan of it. We don't really have anything to build right now. We're going to get into a run. But just so you can see, we got to pick weeds, things like that. There's also a giant pizza box back here that I assume is going to take a bit of work. I have to clean. Oh, geez, I actually do. Wait. Is it? Oh, we have to, we're going to have to level up. We have to level up our backyard, I think, to actually be able to get rid of the pizza box. All right, so we go in here. There's three different playable maps. We have to actually... Get the flower currency or whatever it is to do that. So let's get into this. We're going to go into the dark forest. See how far we can go. We probably aren't going to get a win. But we'll do the best we can. I really like this. Um, so the way that the map works um, is it's, well, at least this map, I don't know what the other ones are like, is it's more like a Brotato style map, like an arena. And I like that sometimes, you know, it's nice to have the great big world map too, but sometimes it's nice to have the Brotato style map. Um, we have passive ability, we can dash further, or we can take an actual weapon. We're allowed up to six weapons. Let's take a weapon. Let's go with Seed Bomb. Let's get blowing things up. It's a very nice looking game also. I will say that about it. It's a, For me, it's a very uh, it's very easy on the eyes. We have, we have our dash here, a little roll. And then the meter in the middle with the percentage above it, that is our uh, our special. It's I. It's going to take a long time to fill up by the looks of it. It's, we're nowhere near there. That big guy dropped us a chest. Sweet. One more bomb. That's going to be helpful. More damage on the stick foo. Let's take it. There's the currency we need for leveling up things. Unlocking and leveling up. We'll be able to get new bugs. And please let me know in the comments what you think of the game. Um, I go, a lot of my content is based off of feedback from you guys. We could take a protective barrier. Um, no. Dash cooldown reduction, that's probably actually stronger than I think it is. Let's take, let's take, let's take a passive. Let's get one passive at least going in here. We're allowed six passives as well. In these games, I, I tend to fall into the trap of just taking weapons, weapons, weapons. And ignoring passives that can be very strong. So there's magnets going around and smashing these little trees, right? I think there's also health drops. And maybe bombs? The occasional uh, tree will drop a bomb that will blow up all the enemies. There, and I think the way that it works now, and I don't know if it worked like this in the demo, um, at a certain point this gate will open and we can just leave, or we can stay and continue fighting, almost like in an endless mode. Or until we fight, like, a certain boss. Reduce damage taken. We're gonna take another weapon. Take the bees. I'm assuming every single bug, that, like, playable bug in the game has um, their own special move they come with. 
potato comes with the stick foo. Hopefully we get, um, there's gotta be, there's a bunch of buildings and things, right? So I, I still don't have meta progress unlocked. We will eventually get that. So, um, some health regen would be nice. New, new bug, new plant bug. I want this guy dead because I can get a chest off of him probably. Sooner he's done, the better. There he goes. Yep. More bees. Um. Reduce cooldown on bees? You know what? Sure. Wave four. We're doing pretty good, actually. Not, I don't expect this to be a win. I don't ever expect my first look uh, videos to, to be wins. So I, I also have no idea how long a full run is. I'm assuming it's probably not going to be incredibly long. I like them to be 20 minutes myself, like tops. That's my that's my happy uh, zone. What's this? Oh, we got our we got our our big attack. Let's use it. Our twirl. Oh, that's pretty cool. Some health dropped. Lots of kills. Um, we could reduce damage taken. Reduce our rush. So that's our that's our roll, I guess. And do the stick foo. Let's do stick foo. Yeah, that was cool that we I didn't know that was a thing so you can get an energy drop off of the trees as well that what was that that um I just picked up like a little leafy thing I don't know what that was I need a magnet that's what I need Oh, I'm just picking up. Uh, that's I'm just. Sometimes you just get the currency for uh, progress, I guess. Things are about to get a lot tougher. We're on wave six already. If you're still here at this point in the video, thank you so much for watching. If you haven't liked the video, it helps a ton with the algorithm. Not just for my channel, but also just getting these games that I share seen by more people. I'm sure the devs really appreciate it. This bug is um, really, really tough. But he's going to give us a chest. We're going to earn that chest. Just focusing him down. Apparently he is not phased by my stick foo. Okay, so we get our rush a little bit better, a little bit faster. I've been using it. Max health increased. You know what? Take it. Better make sure I don't leave that currency laying around. Magnet. Yes. Close to another level up now. These guys are starting to hit me hard. Imagine taking a passive that uh, makes you a little bit tankier. That might be smart. Maybe a passive that increases my experience gain. Of leaf, more bees, more bees. Wave seven. I feel like we went through the first five or so waves quickly, and now it's like now we're slowing down. An ability, an attack where if you where you can roll through enemies and do damage would be really nice. No. The cooldown's not too long on that, so I can actually use it to just. Oh, there's a there's a big dude. 
He looks mean. He looks like final boss type mean. Super slow though. Only halfway to our next level up. That's not good. Tree. Come on, give me something good. I'm hoping for a bomb or something that's gonna blow everything up. Yeah, I don't. That, that's like a little green tree or leaf or something that drops there. I don't know what that's doing. I assume that guy, if he touches me, I'm going to be in, in big trouble. I'm not, I'm, I'm not able to get close enough to him to actually hit him. Like, consistently for, for any kind of damage. Close. There we go. Um, dash is further. No, we need more damage. We gotta increase that damage. Try to pick up all of our experience if we can. I feel like I'm 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 definitely showing that I'm under leveled. Any trees over here that we can get? One there. Just hanging on by by a thread here. Oh, probably lost it as soon as I picked that up. Okay, about halfway to the next level. A little pickup radius would be nice too if there's some meta progress. Oh boy. Oh boy. This guy's fast. We need to put some distance between us. Look how aggressive he is. I, I see the health over here. I need to get there. Get away, get away, get away, get away. That big bug is still just hanging out. Unreal. Come on. We're almost leveled up again. The size of that swarm. He's dead. I'm gonna die. Maybe I do a lap around the yard and see if I can get that level. Additional projectile? Yes. Um, that's final boss. That's that's final boss. Okay. We're we're in we're in for it. I'm I, I'm dead. Oh no. <laughs> you were eaten. Yeah, no kidding. But look, we got new new abilities. There's all kinds of stuff, I guess. New abilities unlocked. We got hind legs. It's gonna give us more movement speed. We unlocked a pine tree. Fungi. New skill. All kinds of currency. Acorn, new skill, torch. We can go back to the colony. I didn't expect to win. We saw, this, we saw the spider. That's the final boss, I guess, for that map. We'll go in and just check out the colony, see what's up. I didn't see that I unlocked any buildings. We'll do a quick look at this. No, we didn't unlock any buildings. This is just, I think, to uh, kind of make it look pretty, right? Oh, enrichment. That makes it so that you can make uh, place more more buildings. I think. Torch. Place a well. Get us a little here. Put a little well right uh, right there. Yeah. We didn't get any new buildings, but yeah, there's all kinds of stuff. If you're into base building, I think this is really cool. Check in here. I don't think there's any meta progress in this building. This is just like a hey, learn how to play the game. Would you like to learn more about monster? No. Yeah, this is just like a learning about the game tutorial building. All right. We're gonna call it a video here. Let me know what you think of this one. I think it's cool. I think it's got lots of potential. Uh, clearly, there's lots they want to build here. This is a great big yard. Right here. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to see more awesome games like this one, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'll catch you on the next one. Have a fantastic day.